It's no secret by now, I'm sure you know, that Johnny Depp made a holographic appearance at MTV's VMAs, but an appearance nonetheless. He was green screened in wearing the popular music channel's mascot slash logo Moon Man, hovering above the audience a few times during the program. Was he testing the waters? Who knows, but it was met with much enthusiasm from sponsors as well as fans and considered a huge win and comeback for JD in the States. But not everyone found his sarcastic sense of humor as endearing as most of us. Eve Barlow. Who? Honestly, I didn't know who she was either before the trial. What I knew of her was that she got kicked out of the courtroom and she's Amber's girlfriend, spokesperson, both? I have no idea. I do know she calls herself a journalist and she takes to social media often to speak on behalf of or in defense of Amber Heard. After Johnny Depp made this exciting appearance at the VMAs, she took to social media saying... I wish MTV could see the state of my inbox this morning and the terror and heartbreak of women who live in fear for their own lives. You absolute idiots. Normally, I don't follow her or pay much attention to anything any of those folks have to say, but this caught my attention because of the narcissistic importance with which she made this statement. I could not let this one go, so I tweeted, As if women everywhere saw Johnny Depp on MTV and thought, Oh my God, let me run and message Eve Barlow right now. I'm that upset. <laughs> she is so important in her own mind. I call and raise you dozens of messages from both men and women in my narcissistic abuse recovery group on Facebook who are thankful for Johnny Depp and all he's done to help them feel courage to come forward. As a fellow survivor, I have been fighting since 2016 before I even knew JD was going through it. His voice is much bigger than mine and has done so much for real survivors everywhere. The VMAs were backed by some big names who were on board with Johnny Depp being there. All of AH's lies are no longer hidden in the dark. Her mask is off. How long are you going to keep playing while that ship sinks? I usually kind of stay to myself. Now and then something will strike me as important enough to let my voice be heard. And this was one of those things. I don't know. Maybe she caught me on a bad day. Maybe I'm just so washed out with their illiterate nonsense and continued verbal abuse of Johnny Depp that I just could not remain silent this time. Apparently, I wasn't alone in this feeling. My tweet had a bit of traction and had comments like, I call her little inbox story and raise her the amount of views that MTV Moon Man appearance has on Instagram. What in the world is she even talking about? Why would anybody message her, not to mention how can they message her, when she's got her messages blocked. But why would anybody care to? Just because JD was on the VMAs? Sounds like MTV is wisely letting the ratings do the talking. AH in her hour-long interview, lowest rating ever. JD in a few seconds on the VMAs, boom. And this comment from the real Laura B. It was only one person emailing her. The one that shall not be named. And... We could see it if you took a screenshot. I'm guessing that isn't going to happen. Hashtag jealousy is unbecoming. Hashtag Johnny Depp keeps winning. This is a message from just one of the men who have followed my narcissistic abuse recovery page on Facebook. I have redacted his last name and his picture for his own privacy. He says... May I join your community? I am just out of a relationship with a narcissist. And I ask him how he found my page. I ask everyone that to protect the privacy and integrity of the group so that a narcissist doesn't slip by me. What I want you to notice here is the date. May 5th, 2022. After the trial. He is just one of many, both men and women, who have come to the group. I redacted some personal information here, but he's thanking me. and He says, it helps to know I'm not alone. Just in the last 30 days, 
there have been 333 new followers. In total, 7,872 people like this page and 8,058 people follow this page. I had just under 7,000 before the trial. It was during the trial and since then that followers have increased more than 1,000. That may not seem like much to you, but this page has been active since 2016 when I got out of my own abusive situation. So you could say that's about 1,000 a year, with 2,000 being in this year alone. And when most of those new folks are men, I have to contribute that to Johnny Depp making them feel safe enough to speak out. It's not just men. Women are still finding their way to this page looking for help and hope, and they also attribute their courage to Johnny Depp. Never before have we seen a narcissist be served their just desserts in a court of law. Being that he's such a huge celebrity, he brought narcissistic abuse into the light and removed the mask not just from Amber Heard, but from narcissists everywhere. Folks who did not even realize they were being abused were starting to recognize the Ambers in their own abusers, and J.D. gave them the strength to come forward and say, enough. That's my advice to Eve and Amber and all of those who blindly follow her. Enough. Continuing to verbally abuse and defame Johnny Depp isn't canceling him out like you hope. Or keep running your mouths about him. Keep helping others come to see what he had to go through and how courageous he is and how strong he is and how successful he is. Be careful, though, that you don't find yourselves on the wrong side of a courtroom. The First Amendment does not protect you against lying.